feet. Everything starts from the ground up in athletics and in hunting, which if you're an elk hunter, you're actually an elk hiker with a little bit of elk hunting sprinkled in. That's mostly what you do when you elk hunt. And if you're really good at elk hunting, you'll be able to pack an elk out and your boots really matter when you got a large load on your back and you're really trying to get that meat home. And if you're not a good elk hunter yet, get good at taking really good sunset pictures and enjoy your time in the mountains without hot spots, blisters, hammer toes, all this stuff that could ruin your life in the, in the elk hiking woods. So I got the three boots in front of me that I've used the most. I've tested the Thors, the Guides, the Wyomings, the Idahos, pretty much everything Crispy's made, I've had a chance or an opportunity to run. And so what I've done is narrowed down my top three for me, and it may or may not mean anything for you because we have different feet. I've broke this ankle. I'm susceptible for rolling my ankles, especially if I play pickup basketball. Whatever the reason is, the architecture of my ankles, weak sauce. That's why I do a lot of unilateral, single leg stability work in the gym to try to like bolster the structural integrity and resist injury while elk hiking. So these three boots have worked the best for me and I'm gonna go through each one and, and kind of why and when I use them. First and foremost, a lot of times I hunt from a truck, not in the backcountry. When I do that, I usually switch out boots every day because I've sweat, I have sweaty feet, and I just want to put the pair of boots on ice and go to the next one. So the two I go back and forth with the most is the Colorado 2s and the Laponia 2s. And before that, it was the Laponias and the Colorados. These have worked out the best for me. A lot of synthetic stuff going on here. Both are extremely light. Flex is on the lower end of the scale. They're not stiff like the Thors. They're not a super technical. Although I do hunt places where I feel like mountain goats live, these have done the job. Ultimately, I'm a sneaker, I'm a stalker, and I like these over anything for antelope, whitetail, mule deer, elk, sneaking through the woods. It feels like I have almost like sneakers on, but they're boots with great grip, good ankle support, really light in the feet, and I feel like I can feel the ground to make great stocks. So the Laponias are probably my tried and true number one from Crispy. They hit it out of the park. They're probably always gonna make something like the Laponia because me, my good buddy Ryan Lampers, I think even Brian Call, a bunch of guys, they, we just love this boot and it's a no-brainer. Colorado twos. Jake Webb actually introduced me to the Colorados. He had a pair of boots that he owned for five seasons and they were still going strong. And you can always send your boots into Crispy to get them resold if that's what you're into. But the price point of these are amazing and they last a long time. There's a lot of synthetic, they're very breathable, they have good ankle support and they have the rockers, which helps you transfer energy better in the mountains. And it does add up after several days of elk hiking. So these are definitely a top pick. New for 2023, is the Brickstall Mountain Gore-Tex. These are a little bit heavier, fully synthetic, very breathable the way the system laced up. So if you did get them wet, they can dry out fast. And if you have sweaty feet, they breathe better. They have the rockers in them. And it's kind of like that all mountain, all purpose. Like this is the utility. Like I can stock technical climbs. I can do it all with this boot. So if you're looking for a boot that's kind of like a crossover boot, does it all and does it really well, this is the boot for you. But these are my top three. This is what I got for you guys, I think Crispy's a great option for you. Check them out over at um, Black Ovis or my website. Get yourself a pair and get to work and just know that you don't need to break them in. That's another thing I didn't believe until I actually tried it out. And if you are someone that needs to break stuff in, you're just part of your doctrine, then all you gotta do is a couple miles, two or three times, and you're good to go. Appreciate your guys' support. We'll catch you on the next one.